Okay, so travel tips for autism. Here are three of the best ones I'm gonna to give to you right now. Stay tuned. Oh, and there's some bonus tips right at the end for you who watch all the way to the end of the video. Guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. What is going on? My name is Dan, I have autism, and I make videos on this every single week. So make sure to hit the subscribe button if you wanna stay connected and see more videos, and thank you for that. Also, if you're watching on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram, be sure to follow the page so you see daily videos from me. Super important. Guys, what is going on? It's summer and it's hot as heck. So I wanted to do this video because because I feel like there's a load of people who are gonna be planning on the summer holidays, wanting to do loads of kind of cool stuff with their kids, and are like, oh my goodness, my kid's on the autism spectrum, or I'm on the autism spectrum, and I've got to fly somewhere, um, I need some help. So I'm here to help you. Dan is here for you, please don't worry about it. I'm here to support you. Okay guys, so I've listed out three things and a little bonus tip right at the end for you guys that are gonna help you with creating the best possible outcome for travel uh, with someone on the autism spectrum and it's uh yeah these are top tips you guys are getting top shelf tips right now don't go anywhere buckle up let's do it okay guys so the first one is the internal routine now um creating routine inside a suitcase is what i call it so it's basically creating routine wherever you are so say you're you know you're on a plane or a hotel um you want to be able to create a routine that's comfortable for you so when i get into a plane i always put on like uh, pajamas like a really comfy outfit and just get my ipad out my headphones on and I just chill out, right? And I, I take my shoes off, and I know you're not supposed to walk around without your shoes on an airplane, but that's the routine I have at home, and I want to implement that routine wherever I go into a micro space. That's what I would do at home. That's what I'm going to do on the airplane. Now, in my hotel room, this is really interesting. What I do is I set up an area of the hotel room, like my desk, and I put my case next to it, and I make my own routine there, so I know I have my, my food for my breakfast there that I already kind of bring in, so I go to the store, get the food, and I create instantly create a routine that I can create inside that hotel. And what you're trying to do here is give control to the autistic person at that moment in time, whether it be on a plane or a train or a car or whatever, and then in the hotel room. So they have control over it. They don't feel like something is chaotic and out of control, which is what a lot of autistic people find when they are on holiday or when they're kind of going away somewhere, which is really interesting. So creating like, you know, a desk setup with all their kind of things on it and their snacks like they would do at home. I do that in a hotel room. There's nothing wrong with that own the situation take control of it or give control to the autistic person for a piece of that um, room or situation you will drastically reduce the issues and potential meltdowns you have with traveling okay guys number two is brilliant now brilliant kindly sponsoring this video thank you brilliant but they are a homeopathic medication and i actually love brilliant these guys are amazing it's completely uh, homeopathic there's no nasties in it you don't need a prescription for this uh, but definitely check with your doctor before taking any type of uh, supplement or medication brilliant helps with anxiety, stress, restlessness, irritability, and impulsivity, which is perfect for autism and ADHD, right? But I find like taking this really chill chills me out and takes the edge off, especially when I'm traveling, because I'm even heightened in anxiousness when I'm traveling, right? As most autistic people, but when taking Brilliant, it really does take the edge off that kind of like travel anxiety. Now, Brilliant is like a small little tablet that you pop into your tongue, um, and you take like four of them a day, really, or between three and four of them a day. But I would say take it for two to three weeks before you see a buildup and a huge impact on uh, your kind of like stress levels or anxiety levels really good it's a great medication and um yeah it's 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 really natural there's no nasties in it so i definitely recommend checking it out they also have a child version of it so that's the adult one but there's also a children's one so definitely check out both of those i highly recommend them link will be in the description down below and you get 15 percent off so that's kind of cool all right guys Moving on. Okay, so number three is the travel guide or the travel plan guide. Now, what I mean by this is I always make a huge guide, like a list of all the places where I'm going to go, and I try and make it as visual as possible. Like I take pictures, I'll, I'll take Google Maps screenshots, and I'll make like a PDF uh, of everything that we're going to go and see, everything we're going to do while we're there. And so I get a visual representation that's heavy in imagery that I can see exactly what we're going to do, you know, what, where the, when the plane takes off, what the plane looks like, what an airport is like, all of those things. So there's no unexpected kind of bumps. You, you prepare yourself before time and you know exactly what's gonna happen. Um, I even went a, a step above this and I put like restaurants that are close to my hotel room in there, stuff I can eat, put the menus on there, you know, get the numbers there, the emergency numbers, all the stuff that you think you would need. I do this way before going, I study it before I go because then I'm prepared. So it's all about being prepared with a guide or a travel plan guide. And a little tip is I always take a picture of my um, identification and my, um, uh, passport and keep them on a digital file within my phone because uh, sometimes you know you don't want to lose those things when you're traveling but it's a bit of a pro tip and the other thing I bring with me is an autism alert card which I sell on my website theaspiworld.com forward slash 
shop you can get a uh, autism alert card which actually helps you uh, when traveling so people know that you're on the autism spectrum okay guys let's move on to the bonus tip for you guys number four okay so this bonus tip is an absolute essential one and i want to give it as a bonus because i know that you guys will love it okay now this is a sensory kit now i never travel without headphones uh that block out sounds or noise cancelling headphones and my uh, sunglasses. Now, what this does is it creates a sensory environment that I can control. I can put sunglasses on when it's too bright or I don't wanna make eye contact with somebody and I can put headphones on or block out all the noise. Now, I do this all the time. You may have a sensory blanket or a fidget toy or an iPad or something that you wanna bring with you as part of your sensory setup. Now, I would highly recommend doing this and don't leave the house without it, especially not when you're traveling, but have it with you in the airport and on the plane because it's the thing that's gonna get you through those uh, tedious paths of the journey and um, believe me I've had a few of them and if you want to support me you can do over at my patreon page patreon.com forward slash the Aspie world I'll leave a link on the screen here and in the description it's cool you you can donate as little as one to a hundred dollars a month but get access to exclusive courses and content I won't bore you with it you can go check it out all right on with the video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you think this is awesome love you guys I'll see you in the next one peace